Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So welcome back to another Fate Grand Order worth the roll video. So we are here with Yamanami Keisuke. Not Keisuke, Keisuke. I know I pronounced it wrong during the gacha rolls, but it is Keisuke. <laughs> I know a lot of people are uh, joking around saying that he is kind of like uh, Urahara Keisuke from Bleach, but... Yeah, whatever. Uh, putting that aside. Uh, so we have Yamanami Keisuke. He is the four star saber that came into the new Guda Guda event for FGO JP. And uh, he is a very interesting servant. So we'll go ahead and talk about everything here. So stats uh, attack is 8,726. Of course, you can grill him to make that higher. And then we have HP 12,498. A lot of HP, especially if you grill him there. And then his. Um, other stuff here, Star Blurish 98, Star Generation 9.9, 9, MP Charge on Attack 0.81, MP Charge on Defense 3%. So very high stats there, which is um, really awesome to see. Uh, his Command Card deck, 2 Quicks, 2 Arts, 1 Buster. I love how they split the Quick and Arts there to 2-2 two, two because uh, that's going to help him a lot. Uh, 3 Quicks, uh, 3 hits on the Quick, 2 hits on the Arts, 3 hits on the Buster, and then 5 hits on the Extra. So... This is going to help him quite a lot with MP generation. Again, we'll talk about that right now. So the first skill here is increase party's attack for three turns, increase party's MP generation rate for three turns, and gain 10 critical stars. So this basically tells you he is a support type saber, which is not bad at all. It's really awesome. Uh, we'll talk about uh, this more as we go on because there is a specific reason um, that kind of... Uh, changes how you use him but um, he, he's a great supporter uh, 10 to 20 percent on the attack 10 to 20 percent on the generation so that's going to help him uh, get MP gain as well as the other uh, servants in your party uh, then second skill is a skill that focuses on him increase on quick performance and arch performance for three turns 20 to 30 percent and then charge his own MP gauge by 20 percent so he has a battery that's 20% staple, so that's really good. And um, the quick and arc performance, again, that allows him to do uh, more damage as well as MP gain, which is going to help him a lot. Uh, third skill here is another party buff. Grants party evasion for one attack to return. Recovers party of HP. Removes party of alignment debuffs. Um, the HP is 2,000 to 3,000 HP heal. So this is a really good skill for supporting, um, for healing basically. So um, that's again a really, really good skill. I love the uh, wide evasion party. Uh, so that's really awesome to see and I'm um, going to his passive passive nothing really to talk about here other than the quick performance up 2% I mean that helps with quick cards cool and then the append skill third skill does more damage against berserkers, which is awesome uh, then MP so it's a art support type MP so this increases the party's attack for three turns 20 to 40 percent uh so it's probably beneficial if you level up his mp and then gain 10 critical stars every turn for three turns again that's really good for the crit damage and then increase the critical damage of shin sengumi servant allies by 50 percent for three turns so this is a specific buff to the shin sengumi servant hijikata Oktasoji. you you get the whole shebang there so um he's basically amazing with shin sengumi servants not with like other servants i mean yeah he can still buff them but specifically shin sengumi servants you want that 50 percent uh critical damage there that's actually really really huge but um again going back to the second skill here um i actually believe this would have been awesome if this was a choice because again he is a support type saber i feel like this would have been awesome that you can help support okta soji who is a great single target quick servant and um i mean this would help her tremendously but they, it's his own and the reason why it's his own because I, I guess Lissango wants you to spam his MP so that you can keep buffing the other servants with that 50% critical that extra uh what do you got charisma 20 to 40 percent charisma and it, it makes sense so basically if you have his quick and arts cards laid out there use it so that you can um get to the mp shoot off the mp so that you can buff the surrounding shin sengumi servants again i think this is still cool but I, I thought it would be really awesome to see this as a choice that's why i think it would be fair the choice if it's aoe really good right but it, it would have been really cool if this was the choice in my opinion but hey it's still good i think uh again 
Keisuke here is a really interesting servant because it's specifically to Shin Sengumi. Um, but at the same time, it makes sense. But who knows? Maybe in the future, they might change that to every servant. That would be really cool to see. I doubt it. But uh, I, I think this is still a pretty cool um, support, you know? Like, again, like maybe in the future, they'll be like, hey, Shin Sengumi servants will do more damage. In, in a future Guda Guda event, Shin Sengumi servants will do more damage kind of thing. But um, I, again, I think this is a really interesting servant. I think it's a really cool servant. And um, if you're a huge Shin Sengumi fan, I think this is cool. Like, you can just make a full on Shin Sengumi party now, which is awesome. Uh, of course, we still need a couple more slots to fill out the party. But still, I, I, I think this is just really really cool to uh have a shin sengumi support and um again you can just have these niche parties which i think should be a thing in fgo i think they should make more niche type servants in this game i, I think that would make the game so much fun um like you know just like play with your favorite uh, archetypes kind of thing like uh i don't want to say Yu Gi Oh, but like you know like you have these specific decks and specific card games where that focuses on those traits kind of thing so i think that would be really cool to see uh with fgo they I, I i really wish they would do that more often you know but yeah it's basically yamanami keisuke uh again i think he's a very interesting servant and um is he worth the role it's hard to say but if you're going to be rolling for dq anyways uh, i think he is a bonus uh, role so yeah I, I think Yamanami Keisuke is really cool plus he is a huge fan favorite to the female fan base so Shin Sengumi you know yeah <laughs> but uh, yeah Yamanami Keisuke I think is a great servant um, interesting um, worth the role 50 50 honestly but uh, I still think he is a fun servant to play around with so yeah that's basically about it thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed comment down below and tell me what you guys think about him and I'll see you guys in the next one laters